Um, Monique, yes, absolutely. Let's just quickly go, run through Burning Your Boats again. It comes from a story about when a navy, a fleet of ships uh, wanted to, to conquer a land. Um, I think this is the Spanish Inquisition or something like that, but you know, it doesn't really matter. They landed on the beach with their ships and they wanted to conquer this land and they had to obviously go and attack you know, the, the forces on the land. And the, the head, the fleet commander then commanded the men to burn their boats. Okay, they, they literally burnt the boats on the beaches. Perfectly good boats. Nothing wrong with those boats. And if they needed to retreat, they would need those boats to get away. Otherwise, they'd be captured. But the change in mindset, once they had burnt their boats, meant that they had no escape route. They, they, they could not think about a plan B because there just was no option for a plan B. And what that, in, in terms of the creating accountability for you to focus on your key tasks. You're burning your boats in that you now don't, you're emotionally invested in one plan, which is to do those tasks. You don't have a backup plan to say, oh guys, you know, I've switched, I'm going to do this because you've made this commitment. You feel now that you have almost promised it. You haven't quite promised it, but you've put it out there and you're asking for help and the support that I've been showing you, you know, on the last couple of slides that we're able then to give you uh, in the Facebook group. So hopefully that 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 uh, uh, helps you there. I also have um, an article which I will quickly dig up, um, and that will explain it in a little bit more detail. And uh, you can go and read um, there. It's a little bit more geared towards um, broader objectives and commitments that you might need to make. And I tell the story. Uh, in that article that I've just put on the chat there about a project that I was running uh, in my uh, work uh, where we had to implement an IT system. And um, I stood up in front of about 100 people and I, I said to 100 people, we will implement the system by November. And that was four or five months ago. That's another form of burning your boats. It's, it's a public declaration of a commitment that I'm making. Um, and we see it happening all the time, whether it's marriage vows or any other kind of, you know, a, a promise that uh, somebody makes uh, in public um, to do something or not to do something. It's a very similar concept. Um, there's a degree of, of shared accountability um, and there's a lack of a, an escape route for that person to get out of doing that. And very importantly, if you don't make that public or shared accountability, you have the internal battle with yourself, with your own mind. And we as humans are exceptionally good at self-justifying. So now Ramona, let's come back to this example. She made this commitment. She burnt her boats at the beginning. And now she realizes, because she's got this new mindset, it completely changed her mindset. She thought, I've, we've got 2,300 people in the Facebook group. She feels, I've made this commitment. I have to now get this done. So now she then posted uh, some you know, of this law units work that she was doing. And again, this is now the implementation. Uh, and the and the, the change in the mindset and the result of that coming through in the work that's happening uh, during the day for Ramona. 